what you're observing here is me doing one of my really least favorite things, and that is uh, putting away my negatives. I tend to let them stack up. Um, I don't know if you can see this, it's in frame, but I've got a stack of uh, negatives that um, I had developed because they're color or they were uh, black and white C41 process films. And so I kind of let them stack up. And then I finally get around to putting them in my negative sleeves and organizing them. So that's what I'm up to right now is sleeving these negatives. And it's just a joy. When I get my film back, I just want to see the pictures. I think everybody knows how that is. So I load the scans right up into Aperture. And, you know, just start playing with them, making adjustments, publishing Flickr, maybe making a YouTube video about it. But, you know, I pretty much want that relatively instant gratification that you get with digital scans of your negatives. So I'm just working my way through this roll. And as you can see, I leave the film in the plastic wrapper when I'm cutting it. And I pull it out and I just wash my hands. So I make sure my hands are really clean. And then when you're putting the negs in the sleeves, it's helpful to kind of put a warp on the negative. And then carefully, or not so carefully as the case may be, work it into the sleeves slot and then try to get that warp back on it. It's really a pain. Makes me grip my teeth. Like I said, it's one of my least favorite things, so now I'm putting a little bit of a warp on the negative, and that usually helps it get in there a little easier, but not when the corners catch inside the sleeve. So I always label my negatives. I hope I'm holding this right. And what I do is I just organize my negatives by what, by what I call an index. So if you can read my writing here, this is roll 00103. I started at 1 on my first roll when I started shooting film again. So there's an R00001 in my negative binder somewhere. But this index is the key to everything. I use that in Aperture, and you could use it in... Lightroom or whatever you like, and that's the very first tag I put on the photos that I've pulled into Aperture. Then when I publish those photos out to say Flickr, that tag stays with the photo. And if somebody says they like some photo and uh, they ask for a large version of it or want to print or something, all I got to do is in Aperture or in Flickr is go and look and see what the index is. And then I can easily find the photo an aperture and then easily process it, whatever it is I need to do, export it full size or whatever. After I get the sleeves loaded, I just put them in a three ring binder and I just put them in order. Now, as, as part of completing this whole process, I take the uh, CD from my processor, my lab, and uh, I label that with my roll number. So you can see on my thumbnail sheet here, I just write the roll number. And then on the CD, in case it gets separated, I put the roll number and then just a short descriptive text about what's on the, uh, on the CD. So again, this index ties everything together. So, you know, I can get back to my physical media, of the scans anyway, not the real physical media. The real physical media is here, my negatives, and I can get back to those too because it's all tied together through this index. So if I wanted to get, say, a negative drum scanned or wet printed or something like that, then I'll be able to get back to it easily, whether I'm in Aperture uh, looking at the photo or I'm on Flickr looking at the photo or wherever it might be as long as this index is in the metadata for the photo. When I'm done, I'm going to have a stack of these boxes that uh, my um, lab gives the negatives back in. So I just throw them in a grocery bag and save them until the next time I, I go to my um, lab, which is also a Photoshop Inglewood camera. And uh, it's a great place. If you live in Denver, check it out. And so then I take them back there and they can recycle these things. They'll just reuse them on other folks' film.
or you can use them as nice little shipping boxes if you need to send something small somewhere.